Greetings everyone, hope you're all keeping well out there, as I'm sure you all know by now, my name is Alex and today we're taking a look at one of these bad boys, which is in fact a USB digital microscope. Now the reason I have actually ended up with one of these is because if you are like me and you have children, you will know that they are just extremely fascinated by the world around them, but most importantly with insects and bugs. So like any parents, I've decided to take full advantage of this interest of his, and with one of these, I'm hoping he'll be able to gain a valuable insight to just how fascinating life is at a microscopic level. So as usual, starting off with the box, it looks quite scientific and it, you know, it's got no excruciating or bright design to really attract you to the box. However, it does obviously have a picture of the microscope on the front. And as for the description here, it looks like you've got your Java enabled, it comes with a CD-ROM or slash RAM, and then it's got a little note here, 30 frames per second under 600 LUX brightness. So that's quite good really. It's not the best, don't get me wrong, but it's pretty decent. So opening it up now, that obviously easily slides out, we don't need that. And there it is, oh, and a nice presentation there. Okay, so we got, um, this looks like the actual microscope itself, and that has got a pretty long USB lead on there, which is always good. Whoa, look at the size of that, that is super long. And then the microscope itself. Now that actually feels quite nice. Don't get me wrong, right, it doesn't feel like expensive, but it does feel fairly well made. You've got a little button here for zoom, I'm assuming that would be digital zoom, and then you've got another button here marked in red for snap, so <laughs> snapshot I'm assuming, and then it looks like this is the wheel, yes, yeah, so it's a turning motion wheel here, and it goes from 50 up to 500 times magnification. Eight LEDs there on the inside, so that's going to really illuminate whatever you are trying to look at. And then we've got a little wheel here on the USB, I'm not too sure what that is yet. What else we got in here? It looks like some sort of stand, and that's where how you use it up and down okay oh a little cd rom a little screw knot and this is a it's a little calibration ruler i don't know if you can see that if i put that on my hand under it it's got little measurements on there and finally we've got the stand itself there so that will all attach together so what we don't need is that but what we do need is to set this up okay then so i've actually finally managed to get it set up and i'll be honest with you you will need a screwdriver i thought i could just do it by hand but no if you're trying to set this up somewhere maybe on the road take a screwdriver with you still nonetheless we're going to try it out and i've got some interesting things well hopefully quite interesting things to look at so this is sugar so i'm going to pour some of that in there like so and we're now going to try and adjust to try and find what sugar looks like under the microscope. Whoa, look at that. That is individual grains of sugar. And as you can see, they look like huge ice boulders almost. That is pretty amazing. Don't forget, I mean, we see sugar every day, but when you look at it like that, it just looks like something from a totally different well. Now the next thing on the agenda is this, which is the leaf, or should I say skeleton of a leaf. Oh, look at, whoa, look at that, how, it actually looks like a miniature city, maybe with, I don't know, some lakes and stuff, but plenty of roads intertwining with each other, who knows, but that is incredible. Now this little feature here was the actual, it turned out to be a light dimmer, or you know, obviously you can make it bright as well, so if I turn this right down, look at that, so obviously that's the actual natural colour of the leaf there. And that looks quite sinister. The next item here is a blue bottle. For those of you who don't know, it's a blue bottle fly, which is not poisonous or anything like that, but they they are nasty little things because they, they land on pretty much everything, but then they land on your food. <laughs> I don't even know what that is I'm looking at. I think that's his head, but look at that. And that is a, quite a low magnification as well. I'm not even fully zoomed in there. As you can see, it's quite far away from the actual insect itself. And now this, there you can see, that's why it's called a blue bottle because obviously it has a lot of blue in its abdomen and it is just fascinating. Now this is something I've been quite looking forward to having a little look at. This is a, it's a bit of a half a spider, a dead one. But he's still got his body intact and a few of his legs left as well. So let's have a look at this. So this is a spider. Oh my word, look at that, that's his eyes, that is the spider's eyes, you can clearly see that, how, that is just phenomenal, I can't get over that, that is, that is, that is just amazing. We should take a snapshot as well, I'm going to see if I can do it without moving it too much. 
Well, surprisingly, it hasn't actually come out blurred. I was surprised, I really was, because the amount of movements I was making there, just trying to take a photo. But if you had to send that to someone, they would clearly see what it was. So there we go, that was a quick demonstration there of the USB digital microscope in action. And you know what? I was very, very happy with how that performed. Yeah, it's not perfect, it does have its flaws. Okay, for example, like it isn't in HD, but again, for the price of this, you can't really expect that, and you could still clearly see what was going on. And then finally, the most frustrating thing is the robustness of this. Now, yeah, the design itself is quite solid, but when you're trying to move it around, take a snapshot, or even just to adjust the focus, it's just all over the place. Overall, however, it's fantastic. It really is. It's cheap. It's cheerful. If you want to throw this in someone's like as a stocking filler, a small birthday present, and especially if they've got a scientific mind about them, they are going to love this and they are going to be blown away. Still, however, if you've got any questions or comments you'd like to ask me about the USB digital microscope, then please feel free to put it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you with the answer as quickly as possible. Not forgetting, of course, if you like tech and you enjoyed this video, then please show your appreciation and give it a fantastic thumbs up and hit me up on that fantastic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.